Hello friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So, I am so excited for this video. You have no idea. Today, we are gonna be unboxing something so special and so exciting. I have wanted some of these for a very long time and I first saw them at MCM Comic Con in Birmingham and I just fell in love. I have been very lucky that Star Ace actually sent me a few of these to unbox with you guys. This one in particular is Albus Dumbledore. It's a one to six scale collectible action figure. These are not toys. They are definitely for the collectors out there such as myself. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek so that you can know what to expect. Honestly, you wait until you see these up close. They are ridiculously detailed and yeah, too much excitement. We're gonna get on with it. Also, if you're interested in seeing any more of these Star Ace products, I will leave the links down below in the description for you guys. Also, if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go because I cannot wait any longer to unbox. Okay then, so here we are. I have got the one to six scale collectible action figure, Harry Potter, and this is Dumbledore from the Order of the Phoenix, and it's by Star Ace. These boxes are stunning, and this is one of the bigger ones. Oh, just look at him, look at him go with Elder Wand. I'm gonna move it. Now, what's really special about these boxes is you can open the cover of them to see what is inside and it has this window and here he is Dumbledore himself over here we have got a beautiful picture of a phoenix patronus which is absolutely stunning I love all of these candles here as well it's so magical now here of course is where the magic is inside the box we have got the figure himself he comes with three different hands we've got the owl podium that he stands at in the Great Hall. We've got a miniature Elder Wand, a Gryffindor sword, which I'm obviously pleased about. And we've also got his little hat that he wears and it's really, really sweet. And I think there may be other bits and bobs when we unbox. So I'm gonna go and take it out right now. This is so cool. So here is Dumbledore out of his box. Behind this, there is actually a stand that you get with it. So this is the base and it also comes with a little leaflet. Oh, it has pictures on it, which is pretty cool. I'm assuming that's a little instruction leaflet. This is the base of the stand and it's nice and black. It even says Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix on it, which is very cool. It's made out of plastic and oh, the bit that goes with this is a part that goes in there to actually hold the figure in place. This simply clips in here. So we're gonna go ahead and put Dumbledore in there later on. I assume that this metal part goes around his waist. Oh my goodness, I don't think I'm ready for this. First off, let's start with the cutest thing in this box, which is a teeny tiny Elder Wand. I cannot believe how detailed this is. There's even little tiny bits on the center of his wand. If you know what the Elder Wand looks like, you know exactly what little details that I'm talking about. This is so cute. <laughs> wish and flick. <laughs> That's adorable. I wish all wands were this big. That would be really funny. Next, I think I have to hold this Gryffindor sword. Wow, this is like as close as I've got to owning the Gryffindor sword. A really teeny weeny one. So down at the center of the sword, it says Godric Gryffindor, and it has all the detailing in the top even on the other side oh my goodness that is so cute the paintwork on it is actually really impressive i really really like how that they've done this that's really sweet i cannot wait for dumbledore to hold this sword now in this set obviously there's teeny tiny little props for dumbledore to hold but he couldn't hold everything in the same hands that he currently has so we have dumbledore's spare hands which is quite amusing and this one's brilliant in particular because it actually has his rings on it. I can't tell you how realistic these look. The skin tones are perfect. You can even see his teeny tiny veins in his hand. I just think these are so impressive and we haven't even got to Dumbledore yet. So yeah, we have a hand here wearing his rings and we've also got what I believe would be a sword holding hand because I believe that this would fit in there somehow. 
yes though that's probably not the safest way to hold a sword is it Dumbledore <laughs> the final hand I believe should be his wand hand there you go you've got lots of little interchangeable hands that you can put onto Dumbledore I think this owl podium is probably the most impressive piece it's so beautiful it literally looks like someone has gone to the studio tour done a spell on it to shrink it down to a teeny tiny version and it's really really gorgeous so we're going to take this out and I'm actually going to just move Dumbledore to one side so that we can have a look at this properly wow we've got eight candles at the top oh my god is this LED I did not know this about this figure so I'm even more excited than I was so we have the owl here which Dumbledore is going to stand at and it comes all the way down and we have some dragons dragons here all the way around even on the back it's just glorious we've got what I assume to be emeralds in there as well this is so pretty I can't explain how detailed this is I can't believe these light up how exciting this is so cool I want the life-sized one now right now bringing back Dumbledore we have to discuss his teeny tiny baby hat this is so cute again with the details all of the stitching on this is fantastic it just really does look real but miniature the work that they've done on these I don't think I can fault it it just looks magnificent we're gonna put that to one side I'm gonna take Dumbledore out now this is the first time I've ever touched one of these star ace figures Right, so here we are, Dumbledore himself. He has lots of plastic packaging around him at the moment. Oh, his beard, his beard, ooh, okay, these move. I have never held one of these ever before. These dolls are so impressive. I believe his little thing also comes undone so that you can see what he's wearing underneath. He's even got trousers on. Like, considering you don't see what he's wearing underneath when he's stood up, the fact that they've gone to the effort to actually put trousers on him and his little shoes. Well, he has quite big feet, actually. There's a fun fact. The fact that they've gone to that effort is quite frankly fascinating to me. So this figure is fully movable. You can move all of his joints. They're on ball sockets. So they have full rotations and that kind of thing. I believe his head moves as well. So you can really fully position these when you display them and you can put them however you want them to be stood. And I think that's really, really fun. <laughs> or at least for me it is. So let's talk about Dumbledore. So this figure in particular has hair on his head but the beard itself is molded so that isn't hair but it does have a brilliant detail which is classic Dumbledore which is his little beard kind of dingly dangly bead wrap which they have included which I think that's really really fun and they have his glasses his face again I'm going to talk about the artwork on these the paint job his skin looks really realistic I can see his age spots and freckles and his wrinkles his eyes eye colour which is a beautiful sort of dreamy blue <laughs> oh his little glasses they don't come off they are definitely part of his face oh I'm gonna brush Dumbledore's hair <laughs> he's got curls look at these little curls I am going to take off his outer wear just so that we can see what is underneath because I believe that this does come off if we're very careful there we go so I've taken his jacket off. I don't think I'm going to undress Dumbledore any more than this. I have shown you the trousers. I think this is just padding. Oh wow, Dumbledore's got abs. Oh my God. <laughs> the fact that you can actually see Dumbledore's abs under there is so funny. I'm gonna leave Dumbledore with his dignity and keep him clothed. So let's see how these hands actually work. I believe they just pull off. So let's have a little gentle tug. I've just taken his hand off. Now I think I want him to be holding his wand when I display him. So I believe that this is the correct hand to have that happen. Yes it is. So there you go. You can see the elder wand in his hand. And I'm just going to replace that by simply pushing it onto the little socket. There we go. So we've got his hand which is now attached which is good because no one wants to be handless do they? Let's have a look at what is underneath. He's actually even 
even got socks or some sort of tights on his legs under his trousers. Seriously, the thought that has gone into these, there is layers upon layers of clothing, which is really cool. Even the feet themselves pivot. They rotate all the way around. Again, very amusing. How flexible are these dolls? So I'm just gonna bring up his magical skirt. His legs do go quite far and you can even bend his knees, which is cool. So we could have Dumbledore sitting if we wanted to. Here's Dumbledore's buns in case you wanted to see those. <laughs> so they are really, really flexible. And I think that's one of the most interesting thing about these figures, because when you get figures and dolls, there's only certain positions that they tend to sit in, but this one's really customizable. And I just love these. Look at the stitching on the edge of his outfit. It's just beautiful. I think these are absolutely stunning. I'm so pleased with these. Ah, oh, Dumbledore. It's a teeny tiny Dumbledore. So just quickly, I'm going to pop Dumbledore's teeny tiny hat on and there he goes, he is complete. He's so adorable. Now, the next thing that I actually want to discuss is how to apply these stands. I have seen these before where they have put this circular piece of metal around the outside, but it completely ruins the magic of how realistic these figures are. I would personally put the stand part around his waist under his outer coat so it is completely invisible when he's standing on his little stand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop him in there, like so. There he is, and then when he's stood up, you won't be able to see that he's been grabbed around the waist for stability. I feel bad that I keep taking his hat off. There you go, Dumbledore. And he can hold his elder wand in his hand like so. <sighs> Aren't these just so magical? I think they're absolutely beautiful. I can't get over the detail. I know I've probably said a million times in this video already, the detail is on a whole different level. I've never seen anything like these. The detailing is just everywhere, all over the outfit, over the figure himself, over all of the extras that come with the figure. And oh, I love Dumbledore. He is beautiful. So we have fully unboxed my first ever star ace figure. Honestly, I've really enjoyed this. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to find somewhere perfect to display these. Like my dream way to display something like this would actually be in a glass cabinet so that they wouldn't get dusty. He's probably gonna go back in his box for now. I would love to know your thoughts of this figure in particular. Do you love these? What do you think? Are you interested in collecting these or saving up for them? Let me know down in a comment. I I have had such fun doing this. I am definitely gonna be unboxing some more of these in the future on my channel, so definitely look out for those. Other than that, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go play with Dumbledore. <laughs> that sounded wrong. <laughs>